vast wilderness in northern Minnesota. The Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness stretches more than 100 miles along the U.S.-Canada border. More than 1,000 lakes and more than 1,500 miles of canoe routes, plus some of the best walleye fishing around. This is what our day trip to the Boundary Waters looked like. We started our journey from Lake Vermilion, heading for the Trout Lake Portage. Vermilion is one of the largest lakes in Minnesota, more than 40,000 acres and 290 miles of shoreline. Now this is outside the boundary waters if you were wondering about the motor and the cabins on the lake. It's an access point to the southwest corner of the boundary waters. About five miles across the water and we were there. A four-wheeler actually pulls you over to the other side into Trout Lake. This is one of the few lakes within the Boundary Waters that actually allows limited motor use, up to 25 horsepower. From the end of that portage, it's only a couple miles to our next one into Pine Lake. This is where we spotted our second eagle of the day, and this is where the real work begins. Go, we'll keep it the other way. You're getting so, under it right now. Here's how we're going to go. You got it? Okay. Or you got to lift that a little higher. You got it actually. You got to put that on your shoulder. Okay. Rachel, why don't you help her walk? Take the back and pull to the top of the hill. Okay. Okay. And then come back, okay? Just stay on the trail one step at a time. I got you. Okay, can you let go so I can feel the weight of it? Yeah, now it's just on my head. That's way better. Way better? Well, I just couldn't tell where the weight was because everybody was holding it. Yeah. You think it's good now? I think so. This was Cole's first time portaging. What you can't see are the swarms of mosquitoes that were there. They actually sit up in the canoe while you're carrying it, attacking your face and your hands pretty much the entire time. 
My dad has been doing this since he was a kid and has tons of stories of people breaking down on these trips. It's really equal parts mental and physical toughness. So if carrying the canoe doesn't break you, the bugs might. This portage is almost 270 rods. That's about 0.84 miles. Now that might not sound like much, but that's a long way to go carrying a 60 plus pound canoe. Cole ended up resting the tip of the canoe about a dozen times, but still made it over in under 25 minutes. The last stretch of this portage is the wettest. You're going through a swamp the entire time, your legs are soaking wet, and you're just wondering, are we almost done? That was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Right about that. Was, just had to take it slow. Just got in here, not getting hurt. That's a bonus. No one lives in the Boundary Waters. No roads, no buildings. Do you want me to swim? You got it. Up here. We saw maybe three other people on the lake this day, and the weather might have had something to do with that. The rain made fishing pretty tough at first, but eventually we did find a good spot just as the skies cleared up. Get him? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice Whoa, that's huge, Cole. Yeah, look at these oh there. my goodness. That's that's a that thing is enormous. <laughs> The sun came out and we caught our limit, so we'll call that a pretty perfect day out on the water. <laughs>